So it's open to anyone's questions. I think you are honored. <laughs> <laughs> if this were not just a phase, what would be some of your concerns? I mean, I my concern is that like my beliefs say that homosexuality is a sin, so that bothers me. Um, that I'm gonna have, we're gonna have to deal with that, or uh, I don't know how you have a homosexual son and also believe that it's a sin. So that's gonna be interesting. I mean, I feel the same way. I. I'm just worried about our extended family and how they'll take it <laughs> during holidays when we bring him there. Like, I'm just, I'm concerned that they won't accept him. Yeah. Can you imagine my mom? <laughs> <laughs> I hear in that uh, a lot of commitment to your son and concern that he might not be as accepted by others as you're committed to accepting him. It sounded like you were even committed mm -hmm. when you're talking oh, yeah. about if it ends up being a count, if he ends up not just going through a phase, that you know you're going to have to adjust because you love your son. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to give up on my son just because. know how to go about it and I mean since I I am so different from him I feel like the way I would approach it I mean we've we've talked about this um, and I just know that I am not the best person to approach him our the way we handle things are way different and he'll probably end up in tears even though I'm not trying to make him upset you know but just the way we talk like I talk to my sons way different like my other two sons way different than I talked to him. I couldn't talk to Henry like that. He would cry, you know. So, I'm just kind of scared to do that. What do you think Henry makes of the silence? Um, I'm not really sure if he said anything to you about that. About what exactly? About me, the silence between him and I. Um, I mean, he's... <clears throat> He's told me that he it, it upsets him that you two aren't that close and that he kind of feels pressured because he like you're not accepting the fact that he's not like rough and that he's not like our two older sons. But that's all he's told me about that. I mean, to me, he seems <clears throat> he seems content talking to her, but I don't. I don't know. I mean, I know it would be hard for me if my dad didn't really say anything, so I guess I hadn't thought about that. But You guys mentioned earlier how some kids at school act towards Henry um, and that his friend group is a little bit different than a lot of the other kids at school. How did they respond to him and all of this? His friend group, how does his, his close friend group respond to his coming out? Um, like we said about the phase thing, um, I actually think that it was more his friends that influenced him mm -hmm. to experience like sexuality in that type of way. I, I think that his friend group accepts him even more now okay. because since coming out. Yeah. And I think it's because like he doesn't fit in with other boys. I mean like a, a lot of boys in middle school they like football and they like and so he has this one friend group and so I feel like he's altering himself to be mm -hmm. a part of that friend group. Mm -hmm. I mean so I don't think it's really Henry like mm -hmm. I don't think I think it's what he thinks his friends want of him mm -hmm. or What 
are some signs to you that it's that they're influencing him as opposed to him being able to speak for himself? I just think that he, I'm not really sure, can you rephrase that? What I'm trying to get at the issue that you, you see of him being heavily influenced mm -hmm. to come out by this group of friends, and I, I guess I'm wondering what leads you to the impression that it's really influence as opposed to um, him speaking his own mind. I'm just not real clear what you're seeing as signs that it's the influence versus the speaking. Right. Um, I just think that he, like since they're all theater, they're, I know he has a few friends that are actually gay. So I think that those friends have kind of um, accepted him even more so now since he's come out because he before they like if he showed any signs of like being tough or you know pretended to be tough they kind of shut him out those times mm Sounds to me like both of you are really concerned for Henry's well-being at school and in the house. And so, Michelle, do you think that it's good for him to come to counseling? And, uh... Lauren. <laughs> Warren. 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 You, uh, <laughs> you are also concerned for him. What are the things, what are, what other steps are you guys taking to help yourself deal with it? Like, outside resources or, uh, outside support groups or whatnot? I know that I've mentioned to Warren that we should go to um, pastoral counseling at, at our church. I think that would be most helpful uh, to get that perspective. But I also think that it might be an issue because of the strong beliefs of homosexuality as a sin. So it's, it's kind of hard. I don't want to... I don't want to open that can of worms to the church if that's not a can that needs to be opened. Um, if it's something that he like doesn't go like it go away and is really Henry, then we can deal with that. But I don't want to mention to Pastor Don that this is you know, and then two months later Henry decides he's not gay or I don't know, and then everyone thinks differently of him or I don't know, you know like it spreads around the church. It's gonna get around so. I don't know, that's my concern. But I mean, I feel like we have, I mean, obviously, like we, like I said, every night we talk and we have, like, we read the Bible together and we try to, try to understand, but it doesn't really depend on what we believe and stuff as far as we, so. What is it? <coughs> Sorry, go ahead. I just, I don't know where to go, I guess, to, where else to go. Well, um, as a counselor, we have certain resources that we could give you, a list of things. We could give you that at the end. Also, I was wondering, what does Henry think about uh, when you guys mentioned that homosexuality is a sin? Or has he mentioned that to him at all? Yeah, obviously he has grown up in the church with us, and he realizes that if he accepts that it is a sin, I don't think that it phases him because of the fact that he knows that you know, every sin is equal, so it doesn't really, it doesn't really phase him that much. Like, he still feels like he doesn't want to come out to the church because he's afraid of how they'll view him, if they'll accept him, but. So he's feeling in a bind about uh, how to put in perspective something that he's feeling pretty strongly about his identity. Mm -hmm. And the other part of that bind is if people know that, 
was something that's very important to him, the support of the church be gone. You guys mentioned that this might be a phase that Henry is in. Um, talk to me a little bit about the time frame that you're expecting this phase to last, or maybe even just some signs when you'll know that it's not a phase. What do you anticipate in order for that? I feel like since he is 14 years old, he's a fresh high schooler. I think that it might last as long as he's in high school, because I know that he'll be friends with them as long as he's, as he's there. both mentioned uh, worrying about outside influences like the church and what the kids think. What feelings, could you describe the feelings you have when thinking about how others will perceive you as parents when they find out that Henry is gay? It doesn't really concern me because I know how, how I am as a parent and I know that I've tried my best and I've, we've done the best that we can as yeah. parents so it doesn't really concern me. I mean, I haven't done anything to make my, my boy gay. I mean, I've done everything to not make him gay. I mean, I feel like I've tried to toughen him up. I've tried to to include him when, you know, when other two boys and I are doing something. Like, there's nothing that I feel like I've really done. And, I mean, he's really close with her, but I don't... I mean, I say she, he, that she babies him, but she just, she just acts different towards him. I mean, she's a girl. Still think that I mean they might talk about emotions more and stuff, but I don't think that makes someone gay. So. So you don't feel like you're responsible. And I was like, that's so wrong. I did something. <coughs> um. Okay then. <laughs> we'll talk about what you think you goofed at later. Have any other questions before we turn it on?